Okay. Scarabs. How about y'all? You got hog. Thanks for stopping by. Look, if you broke like me, if you in the refugee area and you're trying to break out of the refugee area, maybe into the homeless camp, uh, if you're trying to start putting a little bit of currency into your stash, you know that in Necropolis League, it ain't easy for a new player and you're probably not going to get a lot of currency drops and stuff over running maps. So this is my strategy for doing that and we're running blight. Come on, you piece of junk. <laughs> it's hog, baby. So uh, we're talking about blight, a, a blighted map. We're not talking about doing blight in a map. There is a big difference in that. There's a big difference in a blighted map and a map with blight inside. So the blighted maps are the ones with just a pump. It's actually a huge blight encounter at the end of each of the little tentacles after you get done. There's a loot explosion area assist, like big zits you can pop. The zit juice is loot and it's badass. It's either essences or scarabs or div cards or whatever you have spec for in your atlas tree. And uh, highly recommend trying these out because it's like tower defense system. So if your build's kind of shitty, you can set up the towers the right way. And then you won't have to worry about having a shitty build. You just let the towers do all the work and then sit back and collect the loot. Now, disclaimer, this is not two divs an hour. Well, I guess it, actually it might be, but uh, it, it's a good strategy for newcomers. Uh, it's a good strategy for people that like doing the tower defense. I'm finding my minimum run so far has been uh, three chaos natural drop. Okay, three chaos. My max run has been 12 chaos natural drop. And then the items that have come out of there can be anywhere from 30 to 120 chaos uh, range depends on what drops how lucky you get um what oils what you know so primarily i'm finding oils cards scarabs um fossils and some other things some really good items that can turn around and make quick flip on um let me show you my atlas this is my atlas yours might be better i hadn't finished up the stuff to open multiple atlases this is what I'm using. You do what you want. You do you. Um, I'm taking scarabs, 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 scarabs. All this is scarabs, 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 scarabs. I don't want maps in this particular strategy because I'll just go trade for blighted maps. I don't want any maps to come out of those cysts or as minimal maps as possible to come out of those cysts because uh, I want loot, not maps, right? So anyway, come over here to the far left. You want this blight section right here and six of these one two three four excuse me five of these georgia public schools uh do not take this one right here unless you want like if you're out of blighted maps and you don't want to trade for one then activate that but what that's going to do is put blighted chest in the loot table in your cyst so what could potentially be a chaos or divine or something else is now going to be a map so it's kind of a catch 22 you can gamble and see if you can get a good blighted map turn around sell that for good chaos or whatever the price of that map, particular map is or take it off and just get the regular currency drop or get a scarab or something else um yeah this is the easiest strategy i found so far y'all have heard me bitch complain moan whine cry about uh, not having any drops and i know a lot of y'all suggested that i do blight i was doing blight last season i really enjoyed it uh just wanted to keep trying something different I wanted to try to be like the big boys. I don't have enough game experience to be there yet. So we're just going to run blight and the currency drops uh, have been awesome. Now you're not going to get a hundred percent. Well, you might, cause you might be better than me, but I have not gotten a hundred percent completion on the maps. Uh, sometimes you will have them fail. That is a risk you have to take wherever the pump spawns is uh, kind of random RNG. Sometimes it'll be up against a wall. Um, that's really helpful sometimes it'll be in the middle of the damn map that's got eighteen thousand damn lanes going to it and then there's really nothing you can do uh, if you don't have an oil tab or pre um excuse me what do they call it? blight tab highly recommend you get one of these it's where all your oils will be stored it's where all your blighted maps will be stored as you see here and you can do all your anointing here um if you don't have this tab and you don't want to buy the tab then uh, sister cassia uh, she'll do the anoint stuff for you as well uh, quick touch on anoint you can see here these rings minion summoned by your summoning towers 
have increased damage i actually need to change these so this is a good opportunity to show you what happens um you can stack two oils on here and it will actually change the uh attribute into something else you see up very top minions summoned by our summon towers 25 percent increased damage it will change this to leech i don't want that obviously i wish they would fix the clunkiness of that maybe i just don't know what i'm doing but preferably what i'd like to do is have uh scout towers for this because we are there we go minions summoned by your scout towers have 25 percent damage because we are actually upgrading the strategy is to upgrade them into a scout tower um and that will that will help us out a lot more we got two more let's do this other ring here same thing you can do with this on your amulet also uh but it will give you a uh a passive a big passive so this one's asylum um you can a lot of guys put charisma on here some other things um that's another thing that the annoyance can do highly recommend just checking out poe wiki because it's got every damn thing you could ever do and that's another part of the uh the build creation and all that cool stuff uh is being able to anoint things on your rings which is super powerful uh but anyway back to blight you got these maps here okay uh this one says can be anointed up to three times i have seen one that's a nine times anoint i'm sure there might be some more than that i know y'all let me know in the comments if there is um but this one we're gonna anoint my strategy is always use an amber oil okay that means uh 25 reduced cost of building and upgrading the towers of course with a increased pack size that comes with that and then i like to use a crimson oil it's kind of expensive to use that on a crimson oil is about a chaos orb right now Let's see what's the actual price of that 1.8 chaos um but it's kind of worth it because the variety of items contained in 12 of your blight chests are lucky so you could really come across some really badass stuff instead of maybe just some plain jane armor and then um the azure will just stack on top of that also so 17 or if you had a uh which i don't have one unfortunately if you have a i believe it's a uh, violet we'll add an extra chest on a lane which is really nice so what we're gonna do here is go 50 percent reduced cost you can also add experience on top of that we'll anoint it then we'll chisel it okay and then we will roll it and make sure it doesn't have reflect <laughs> that's the only thing i don't like and then there it is there's your blight so you can a lot of guys will veil orb this also uh that's a little cray i'm trying to build experience instead of dying so it's sometimes it's easier to just take it easy <laughs> instead of trying to get it clapped all the time but uh, i've been making this video over the past two days so i'm going to show you a clip from yesterday kind of walk through how my strategy works with the minion towers and uh, all that good stuff and then uh show you the loot that drops all right let's check and make sure we got everything on here all right so the first thing go ahead and explore the whole map it'll take you a second can i not have but a moment's respite don't really have to be the whole map but you want to be able to see outside of the pump area especially around corners this is a pretty good layout this is arid lake i really like arid lake you want a map that uh doesn't have too many kind of secret areas that can creep up on you so we got this back area blocked off so we really just kind of have to worry about right here i'm gonna go ahead and click on the pump to activate it here we go so I go ahead and let the, the blight start spreading before I immediately start placing towers. Okay, I want to see where there's going to be a fork. Okay, there's a fork here. Okay, so I try to find three towers. So the strategy is we're going to go to an empowering tower. We're going to go to a minion tower. We're going to go to a seismic tower. You want to make sure your empowering is circling both of these. We're going to upgrade our minions to the scout tower right here. 
okay the scouts you see them right here those things are badass they shoot lightning and stuff and they will just completely nuclearize a mob now i'd like to put an emergency one here a seismic and minions i always have some garden and I always have try to have a maxed out seismic tower that slows enemies if you have these minions right here with a seismic tower that slows enemies usually it will do pretty good so now we just let it do its thing don't keep building you want to save your points up we're pretty early in the blight you can kill left. yourself you want to kill pretty early just to gain some as you see we're gaining building points here and when she says new roots that's when we need to go check okay so we have a secondary area here uh we're gonna put minions in this in this area right here go ahead and upgrade always try to put an empowering tower with your minions that's gonna help them deal more damage and all okay so we got another split right here we're gonna put minions here power branching exile always keep an eye on your pump sometimes i'll put a cold down also all right so that when this persistently slows monsters that's what we want to take here and we're going to go ahead and add another minion on this lane when in doubt add minions i also like to add cold to slow also the ideal way to do it is put your empowering tower between these two but sometimes in the heat of the battle i now see i haven't been paying attention because i'm trying to make a video here i saved it now see we've got minions absolutely everywhere let the minion towers do all the work see we've got just an absolute shit ton of them okay fungal growth yeah that's my loot filter all right so we got a chaos drop uh scare him scare him scare him scare him scare him scare, him. scare him. that's six scarabs right there but i like to see some of my drops there's two chaos make sure you clear every bit of the map because there can be some uh see there's a black hole two black holes these ones right here don't usually have anything cool if you'd like this loop filter you can come by stream links in the description there's another veil and chaos now remember you can sell these assassin garb these, these uh six socket anythings for a bunch of jewelers orbs if you need them also a nice thing about blight is if you die it doesn't end the deal you can come right back in as long as the pump good god as long as the pump is still going the blight will continue hmm okay scarabs 
So I don't actually have a full tally on all that loot that came out of there, but it was a pretty substantial run. Um, I've actually made enough to where I was dead ass broke after having to redo my build. And I think I had 20 chaos and I turn, I have since turned 20 chaos from blight into four divines and 131 chaos. And that's over about a day and a half. So a uh, pretty good strategy for an, a newcomer. You just have to stay focused and continue to run. That's my problem with um, so much shiny stuff and so much fun stuff for me to look at and do is, you know, my ADHD. Sometimes I'm hyper-focused and sometimes I'm just all over the place trying to improve the build or do this or do that or run around or go do this. It's really hard for me to get stuff actually done in the game, which thank God the season's three months. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps you farm up some currency and let you get in i know we're not going to be uh you know top one percenters of mage bloods and all that good stuff right now unless somebody comes in and gives it to you i say that while i have a headhunter that was given to me um but uh, you got to have streamer privilege sometimes i guess anyway thanks for watching i love you i appreciate y'all's support thanks for the twenty thousand subs hit like and subscribe for more content we'll see y'all next time